awesome. Yay! Yay! Hello, my gurglers. It is time for another album review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Weezer album. Uh, guess what it's called? Uh, Weezer. This, this has no original music on it, it is all cover songs. These covers include songs like Paranoid, Billie Jean, Africa, Take On Me. It opens up with the cover that came out well before anything on this project, uh, Africa by Toto. This sounds horrendous. The production is very on the nose and grungy and misses the whole point of what made the original song good. The original song was good because of the scope and the very light and delicate production. This just throws all that out the window, and now we're just left with this crappy, grungy, chunky, bassy production. Now if you notice, the cover of Africa sounds like these people were forced to make it. That's because they actually were. Rivers Cuomo and the boys were all getting spam tagged on Twitter by a 13 year old girl urging they cover Africa by Toto. After several attempts, they finally caved in and um, it was garbage. This just sounds like if Paramore didn't know what music even was on a basic conceptual level. Africa by Weezer was pretty close to being a minor hit on the Hot 100, so what they did was follow us up with an entire album of classic song covers. And, um, there's not much difference in quality. Hold on. Sorry, guys. There we go. That's, that's much better. Wait, where did my notes go? Ah! From here on out, I'm going to structure this a little differently from my other album reviews because those are just bad videos. I mean, if I had to choose a best song on the album, it, I guess it's Happy Together. There's not really much to say about this one, it plays it very safe. It doesn't stray too far away from the original one. Definitely the least Weezer song on the album. The production isn't as on the nose with the shredding bass on the chorus. Silver's Kawama delivers at least a passable performance this time around. I don't know, I guess, I guess this time it doesn't sound like a Glee cover. Something. The Take On Me cover is absolutely Horrendous. Um, instrumentally, this is as artificial and grossly clean uh, as the project gets. Oh god, the vocals are just the worst. Uh, not only are the lead vocals horrendous, the harmonizing vocals, uh, they're just on a whole nother planet of bad. And the main melody sounds like just terrible Eurodance music. I swear to god, this album just sounds like Glee covers. Another similar track is, um, Mr. Blue Sky and... Oh yeah, actually, that was my least favorite. Forget everything I said about Take On Me. This is as bad as the production gets. This is as clean and boring as everything on the entire project is. And the worst part is that they did it with this song, Mr. Blue Sky. Mr. Blue Sky is a great song on its own because it's weird and funky and different and just sounds fun. Nothing interesting ever happens because um, they're weasering it up and it just sounds like a formulaic Weezer song. The harmonizations are even worse than they were on Take On Me. The song really just takes away all the strange and weird and funky elements that made the original such a classic. The safest, cleanest sounding thing I've heard in my life, and I hate it. Let's talk about that first La 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 outro. Uh, that blowout final chorus. I just feel like I'm listening to something made on a computer. Like, even the vocals 
this, this sounds like a Microsoft Sam loop. But then when they come back for some more harmonization with this rising grungy bass again, it's just, it's just the worst. So, um, they ruined Billie Jean, too. Big boy, get away. Tom, get out. Good boy. They're too impatient to wait until the actual chorus to bring out the big guns. And they, like, blow everything out on the pre-chorus. And then, like, the actual chorus is, like, completely underwhelming. More than that, it just sounds bad. You've got these fake instruments with these fake drums and the fake synths, nothing sounds interesting. Rivers Cuomo tries to imitate every single ad-lib that Michael Jackson does in the original version, and um... It's... it's really bad. All the instrumentals sound like... like something you hear on a karaoke machine. Just a note-for-note -note downgrade from multiple classics from the 70s and 80s. Everything is played safe and on the nose with the production and the style. All the production sounds either outdated or artificial. With no grit whatsoever, Cuomo doesn't have bad pipes. He just doesn't know how to control his vocals, and that leads to a lot of sloppy moments where he's just sort of throwing his voice over the track. And many times they miss what made the original song so good and uh, they, they just dumb it down to their own level. I'm gonna give this album like a really, really, really light three out of 10. I don't really recommend listening to it all, but I mean, if you wanna listen to bad music, you'll certainly get something out of this. And if you want a source for better songs, I would go to this and just look up the original songs. They're much better. If you wanna hear about albums that I haven't, individually reviewed you can go to my rate your music account i forgot to mention it in the last video i made don't know how that happened that's gonna be a wrap for this video tell me if you like this new structure this new style of album reviews um and i'm signing out gurgly turtle stay gurglicious my gurglers gurgling out